What is up, guys? Welcome back to It Was Written Podcast, home of the greatest podcast that you've never seen before. The only people who see it is you guys. It's your host, JP. And Brian. And your other co-host, the anonymous, Sir Brian. Oh my god, Ben, now you know my co. Now my co. First news! Target apologizes for releasing Weird Ass Star Wars. Can you hear that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, let's, <laughs> dun, 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 let's put dun, that in. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I apologize, guys. We're pussy. We'll put that shit in rest mode. First news. Shut your pussy. Target apologizes. Shut your pussy, bro. Man, can you shut up? Target apologizes about this. These weird pool toys, Star Wars pool toys that look like dicks. Literally, look the helmets. Yeah, the we're gonna H- picture hel- right here, right in front of you guys. They <laughs> don't tell us they do not look like fucking dicks. Look, look, the helmet is perfectly rounded. It's just like a dick. <laughs> they they were did that on purpose. Yeah. So Target apologizes to to its consumers about this dick. Dedicated dick. About this. We got Kylo our, Ren uh, dick. Got, All right. We got our, our special. It was written TV controllers. We don't. Come on, stop lying to people. <laughs> All right, guys. It's gonna come soon. <laughs> like, so gonna like, let's get back to the real news. That you're such a pussy magnet. Let's talk about the anime club news. All right. So the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess manga was released this Monday, February eighth, on Shigokan's Manga One. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, I'm so close. Oh! Kobe! Fuck! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? I'm playing. Give me this <laughs> shit! Damn it. You know, if I didn't care about the controller, I would have just fucking thrown it, but I fucking care about it. Yeah, I just got this controller. <laughs> Alright, so the Legend of Zelda, uh, 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 Legend Legend of Zelda of- Twilight Princess Manga was released this Monday on Shagokin Manga 1. The manga offered... On digital platforms, iOS and Android apps, subsequent chapters will follow on a bi-weekly, uh, bi-weekly pot bias or basis. My bad. <clears throat> Damn the audios. So yeah, cool shit. They're making manga of of Legend of Zelda. I really I played Legend of Zelda: The Twilight Princess when it first came out for Wii. I didn't get it. Shit, it was a complicated story. It was cool though, but I never finished it. I never finished any Zelda games. It's fucking long. Oh, I yeah. want to finish one, but I will. Wind Waker? Yeah. Wind Waker. Which one did I not finish to? Link Between Worlds. The the one for the 3DS. The the cool one. I like that one, and I never oh, yeah, finished yeah. it. Between Worlds? Yeah, never finished it either. Well, but that's cool. But you got farther than Wind Waker. Yeah. I <clears> saw you. We got... Oh, hold up. We need, to, <gasps> we need to get closer to the Wind Waker for the you. Where's the wing maker for you? So we're recording this on Wednesday, and people, when when we were like when we release this on Saturday, people are probably gonna see our our setup. But goddamn, everybody wants to see our goddamn setup. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably see it before you see this video, but that's cool. That's cool beans. What I, I was gonna show you the other news. The other news was that there's a new Pokemon that they're releasing. Really? Yeah, I'm trying to show you the picture. Uh, I'm going to upload the picture right so everybody gets to see it. But fuck. Where is it? I can hear it too. Oh, found it. Found it. Look. Get your ass over here. You goddamn. There it is. Oh, it has a gold. You didn't remember? So this is the new Pokemon. Oh, the cat. It looks like that. It's like metallic. It's called. It looks like a Deontay. Megani, Megania, or Magania, or Magenia, or Regina. Magina. Magina. Yeah, Magina. It's a man-made Pokemon, presumably a similar bracket to Mewtwo. It has a metallic body. Also, Magina, or however you pronounce that Pokemon, was created over 500 years ago and is being chased by Volcanian, who apparently knows Megan or Magina's secret, whatever that is. A Vulcan? Volcanian, uh, Volcanian, right there. Oh, Volcanian? 
he, yeah. He, he's he's a Pokemon that he came out in the sixth generation, but he actually didn't come out. It was like Hoopa. But oh. You know Hoopa, Hoopa, that the Volca- weird Pokemon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Volcanion, and then this other Pokemon that got leaked, and then Hoopa came out first, and then well, we people still still actually we played that that Volcanion <laughs> and. Or some other Isn't hacking. it like the like the fucking lava thing. one? Yeah, the big red one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you're talking about. All right, so, so this that's is Windbreaker, guys. Target. Yes, we already talked about the target. Da, 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 da. All right, so let's get, let's move on. Let's move on to another set of news today or this week. I guess you guys already know it, but earlier this week, Tuesday, I think was the day, was released. The Call of Duty Black Ops new, new weapons. weapons and skins and camos and, 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 camos and, and junk. And, and we, they're still better. They're still the old ones, the butter knife. The butter you, knife. First off, let's talk about that. And let's talk about how Treyarch ma- makes new weapons in Black Ops 3 exclusive to random drops. When they, before the game came out, promised that they weren't going to do it. That they were gonna put it in supply drops. That they were gonna probably like, uh, you'll get them in a DLC and then they're there. But no, they're going back on their promise that they said that they wouldn't put them on supply drops, and now they're in supply drops for people to like have to like p- spend actual money and points to fucking get these. Or be really lucky. Like, yeah. Oh, I just but finished they, no, the game. I just, okay. But they uh, like even. Oh, if, oh, I just got the furies. But oh, even if they get, oh. even if they get. <laughs> Bro, even if they get lucky, they're only gonna get one of them, and then they'll if they want to get, and they'll probably always get. Which one was the crappiest one of the of the new weapons? Um, the crowbar. No, I, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I think it's the the pistol, the one that's supposed to be like the executioner, the revolver. They'll probably they'll probably get they'll probably everybody will get that one. Except Allie because Allie is, is fucking Allie and he gets whatever Allie guns he got, fucking. Allie got an uh, opening he got in. Yeah, game. but he spent he spent money, right? He Did he spend money? All right, so that's the point. So they're spent, making bank. He spent like, I don't know, like $200. Yeah, I want to get the MX. What was it called? The MX Grand. The it's MX like, Grand. It's like the M1. It's yeah. like it has an X except the 1. Or maybe, or maybe it's called the M10 Grand because an X means 10 in no, Roman normal. MX Grand. No, no, I don't know. It's people say Mac Max Grand. M- we'll see what it is. M ten grand. What if they 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 have enough space to put a ten? Don't, don't it's an X. Don't worry, guys. All it's right, so X. we're gonna move on from that news to another hey, DLC that, is related news. Is, no- is, is that where you put it? This was this was my book. Oh, I didn't, yeah. Okay, good. I'm using it. All right, we're gonna. I move. can see that. <laughs> we're gonna move on to another set of DLC news. Pussy. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5 online expansion content confirmed. Finally, if you are an MGO player, we are going to get some more <gasps> DLC. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck! I, I, I want to that. All right, all right, all right. So right, right, right into my trap. <laughs> content confirmed. <laughs> DLC campaign for MGO will be called Cloak and Silence. So you there's going to actually be a campaign inside that. Holy shit! Metal Gear Online. You just, <laughs> Fuck! Drop your ass out, help you. This shit straight. We're, we're doing something serious right now. Fuck, See, man. I like live streams better. No, I'm All right. I so we're going to have a campaign for the D- uh, DLC campaign for MGO called Cloak and Silence. I don't know nothing about that. Also, Quiet will be a playable at will be a, a playable character in the D- in um in Who's the MGO. The half-naked sniper girl who could get oh, this one? dick. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> Three new maps have been announced also. Coral Complex, it's like inside the mother base kind of environment. It has open spaces and also has like uh, really claustrophobic spaces as well. Close combat spaces. Next map is called Russ Palace. It's set in Afghanistan and is a large multi-level building with little cover. Third and final map is going to be called Azure Mountain or Azure Mountain. Is an outdoor plane in Africa with just a handful of buildings providing hiding places. Expansion will cost four dollars. That is fucking awesome. What the DLC is four dollars? Yeah. It's four fucking dollars. Dollar. Can you believe that? Dollar dollar bill. And then, 
Also with the expansion, you could also buy like like poses for characters and more skins and like customs and stuff. And they're gonna be they're gonna cost two dollars, which I think that's a rip off for that. But if you want to have like fucking weird poses, poses no like two dollars for each pose or like oh, stuff. for each pose. Yeah. God damn. But I guess if you want to customize a character, two bucks. But DLC four dollars. That's crazy. Supposedly from the from the news article. So I think that's fucking awesome. Get your fucking foot. Oh, oh, I just came from soccer, bitch. All right. Do we have any other news? Treyarch, Treyarch, this, this, this. this. Treyarch, Treyarch. Oh, one final news. Where you know, one final news that we have is next Saturday, February twentieth is anime fucking day. So, if you want to go get anime games at GameStop, they will be discounted. Just like this. Oh, wait. Even this new Naruto game? Yeah, Naruto. Uh, what else? Sword Art Online. Um, Tales that, of Zestaria. That, that, that game sucks. That game sucks. I heard, I heard what? The, the Sword Art Online. Yeah. It, it was pretty... Eh. But if you get it for a discount, maybe you... If you wanted to jump on that game, you could jump on it now. Jump on that dick. And also... The thing that I'm more excited for is that they're going to release special edition Funko uh, Naruto figures in GameStop. Hey, look. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So I'm excited for that. Naruto, I mean, anime day, February. It's going to be Saturday, February 20th with a fucking cool ass exclusive like Karama like Funko figure. That's on, pretty on, awesome. Just like these, right? No, but it, that's just a small one. So they, they're just like so, I know, but bigger ones of these. <laughs> but I'm gonna get. <laughs> bigger ones of. Oh, this came into review. You will get one of these. You're gonna get no, but you're gonna get different versions. Like I want to get the the Karama one, the the gold Karama. That's what I'm looking gold? for. Yeah. Dude, they're, they're popping on that gold dick. All right, so. We're gonna move on to the question of the goddamn day, which is well, why we, the fudge is that on? I don't know. Most of these podcasts is me talking and you interrupting me. <laughs> it's true, but I get I get my comments in this pool in this podcast. Oh, I bit my tongue. Oh, before we go to the question of oh, the day, oh, before no, before look at these dedicated mats. We got a Pokemon one here. And then we got One Piece. This is One Piece? Yeah. Okay, One Piece map mat. It's really cool. It's ninety nine cent no it's, <laughs> it's very expensive. No it's not. It's not that expensive. It's like twenty dollars. It's like fifteen, I think. This one's fifteen, that one's twenty. I don't remember. Alright. <laughs> so before we talk about the, the question of the day, I would I know we had we didn't have that many news today, but it Mine is thicker. We didn't really have much news this week. <gasps> the fuck? All right. I'm going to have to punch you. <laughs> we didn't have that much news this week. But that's all right. It was just kind of a slow week. It's uh, We released this on Saturday. So we'll be right after on Friday the release of Deadpool, which I'm excited for. Well, when you see this, I have have already watched it. But that's cool. We are waiting... I'm waiting for that. All right. We're going to go to the question of the fucking day. Brian? Are you ready? Well, where are you? <laughs> All right. So the question of the day was, what life lessons have you learned from video games? What have you learned from video games for your life? That you could only die once in, in Rainbow yeah. Six Siege? <laughs> No, a life lesson. Something that you could apply to your life that, that you learn from video <laughs> games. That you can mine. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me think very hard. You do your thing and let me, let me think. <laughs> what, what have I learned? I've learned that that to accomplish anything, you have to beat bosses. Hold up. Before, before this... You ha you make these questions, bro. I you don't. you find these questions. I find these questions. I and read then, it, and then you freaking think about it. You have like a whole freaking day ahead of time, you <laughs> bitch. Fuck 
God damn, John. Look, I have to think I, I'm the spot. That's, what, that's why I'm <laughs> Actually, I that. found this question earlier today. You still have like an hour. I thought it was interesting. I didn't really think about it. I was just like. Life, life. What? Well, any question. You like to leave me to a spot. No. I'm like, ah. I look at it. I look. All my questions. Most of my questions come from reddit.com. Which people ask a lot of questions in Reddit. And I'm asking you. <laughs> what have you Bear learned? What can you apply in your life that you learn from video games? That life is hard. And sometimes you have to you have to overcome these obstacles. These bosses. To accomplish to accomplish your goals. Hey, by the way, jump here. When did you come up with this answer? Was it on the spot? Tell on the, the spot, truth. On the spot. This was not on the spot. On the spot. Your answer was not on that spot. Alright, so we'll read the Reddit question and then we'll read Wait, if I could find it again, because maybe I lost it. All right. No, wait. Every time. All right. All right. So this is this is actually this is actually one of the answers that somebody gave them to this question. The person who answered this is called Captain Smoothie. Awesome name. He said, to put another in another way, a life worth living is defined by overcoming challenges. So, it's basically some, the same thing I said. You copy your ass, pussy! <laughs> That's what you got the answer! I didn't, I promise. Also, it's just, it's a shout simple, out! It's a simple answer. You're such a simple, you're such a simple man, bro. <laughs> I fucking hate you. I love you, though. I'm gonna play Call of Duty Block. Hey, by the way, setup is coming. When I don't know. What, what are we talking about? The setup is probably coming before the podcast. Pussy. So, you know what? That reminds me of something that we need to talk about. If you guys saw our podcast yesterday or last week, yesterday, <laughs> yes. we did a podcast yesterday. We we did a podcast last week. We posted it. Last Saturday, and my we were talking about how my brother was into like the Illuminati shit. A fucking weird thing happened to me while I was editing that video, where we were talking about the Illum uh, the Illuminati, and some of the audio that we're recording on our mics got fucked up when we were talking about the Illuminati. It just started like like the like a demonic like thing, and I couldn't hear it. I'm like. And then once we stopped talking about the Illuminati and we moved on to their next like topic and stuff, like it just stopped. It, we could clear, I could clearly hear, and that shit was creepy as oh, fuck. Hold up, hold up. This might be buzzled because of the Illuminati right now. Yeah, this could be. This video might be monitored by the Illuminati right now. That shit's crazy. The reason uh, people could hear the audio though is because it's I changed the mic audio. To the camera audio in that in that section of the of the video, so you could tell the difference of quality. But in that part where it like changes from like really good quality to like kind of normal or shitty quality, <laughs> that's the part where the Illuminati try to get us, dog. They try to get us. So yeah, that was not our, today. Illuminati. So it's scary. Shit. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's gonna be the end of the podcast. We didn't have that oh, many. Oh, dude! I just got texted by my friend that he has his his thing is called Illuminati two four six. <laughs> wow! Ooh, how ironic. Dude, Sorry, guys. We didn't have that much news this week. There wasn't that much news to talk about, or maybe there was. It's just I don't think it relates to you guys as much. If you want to see more news or. Watch or you want you want us to do some other stuff on the podcast? Just let us know in the I was gonna say the description, but in the comments down below, like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching. Like always, it's your boy JP, your boy Sir Brian, and this it was written podcast. Thanks for watching. Bye Peace. guys. Hold up before this. <laughs> thanks, thanks guys for watching. Thank you for watching. Peace out.